Well, we're a little bit closer than where we were last week. Um, right now, we are at $424,000. And as you can see, the donations are still coming. And we believe that, again, we will meet the target of 700000 Yes, um, we have this program going on. And as I said, during the year, we have our pantry program. So even when this is finished, that money will help supply um, groceries for the pantry program where we're able to give out to persons. You know, they don't necessarily want to come to the center for a meal, but they're able to cook a meal for their family. So we give them a um, certain amount of groceries to last them a month, and then they will return a month later to get another set. And people do come off the program. And we have had a number of persons who weren't working, but now with the uh, tourism opening back, they've gone back to work, so they have come off the program. Um, but for Christmas, we still gave them. Um, but they come off the program because they're back to work. Today is our l Christmas luncheon, and we're serving 350 meals. Of those 350, 55 have gone on to our Meals on Wheels program. Um, those are our shut-ins, and they have received that meal already. So these are the persons, the recipients you see here, who are receiving the balance of those meals. And uh, once again, we have to say thank you to corporate Barbados who have pitched in and assist us. But we want to say a special thank you to Cherish Cosmetique who provided the groceries for this to occur. And we thank them again this year for stepping up to the plate and providing for the persons who are less fortunate. Of course. And we're doing the takeaway lunch, so our volunteers are outside and they're handing the meals to the persons and then they're just nicely going through the other gate so that is a measure of control to observe the COVID protocols.